Hey, this is Shauna from So For Dolls, and my other Instagram accounts are Pretty in Pink Reborn and So For CPKs. I have a special delivery today. I got the Our Generation Dollhouse. I bought this on with Target, you know, off of the Target website, and they had sold out last weekend. And then I looked again, and there was only one in stock, so I bought it. And um, it was late getting here, but I'm really excited about it. And uh, my husband's going to help me to put it together right now. So we took the lid off. And then it looks like there's pieces. Like you got the table and chairs in a little box. The bathroom in a little box. The directions. You can see. And over there is like a family room in a box. Well, my husband and I just finished building it, and look who was the first one in. She came in through a window. I think now she's trying to figure out, there's a coffee table next to that, how to get on the second floor. And then, obviously, the third floor. Oh, yep. There she is. Look at her over there. She's trying to figure out how to get into those floors. I told my husband she's going to be enjoying this a lot. Hey, Pixie. Oh my goodness, there she is. Of course she didn't want to go to the middle floor, she had to go to the top floor. She's such a funny cat. Pixie! Okay, I we built the dollhouse. You saw Pixie take a you know step inside, and right after she was in there, actually we had Kalua, our other cat, jumped in on the bottom floor. She's a cat that really doesn't jump that much anymore. She is 14 or 15 years old. And Leo, he was in there also. I'm like, what's going on? But this is the dollhouse. I wanted to show you a little bit closer. I absolutely love it. It is not a huge dollhouse. Um, my husband and I built it together. The biggest complaint we did have on building it, or it was his complaint because he was reading the directions, is the directions that was not necessary to make them so tiny. He would have to take a picture with his phone and enlarge it to be able to see what the next step was. So that was really frustrating. Um, that was our biggest complaint. And then there also was tons of styrofoam, but I know it was needed for packaging, but I've had to vacuum numerous times to get rid of that styrofoam that's just clinging to everything. So let me take a look. I, right now the dollhouse is kind of like how it's set up on the Our Generation website. The wallpaper is gorgeous. The skylight, that's pink. I love it. It's beautiful. It goes with my pink room. Um, the drape or the, you know, the curtain is extremely wrinkled. I will have to iron it. My husband already said, you're going to iron that, aren't you? And the bed is very flat to the ground, but I think this is all because it's a small dollhouse and they want to, you know, keep it proportioned as small as they can. It's a very, um, it's very plain, like the furniture and stuff, but I plan to do a lot to make this more of mine. And there were little planter boxes only two of them you could stick to the window sills. I wish that it had come with one for each window box. Six would have been really nice. And there's like a fish tank. Oh, I forgot to get all of the accessories out. I'm going to get them out before I put you give you a tour of the downstairs. This, this is the third floor. So a bedroom and like a little office. And I put this in. If you're wondering where I put this, my husband was wondering the same thing when I ordered it. Where is it going to go? And it was just amazing that it exactly fit next to where our couch is. Uh, look at this, this is our family room. And there's our couch. And um, so it's amazing that it'll fit there. Just amazing. So let me go get the rest of the items. Okay, so now this is the middle floor. And there is the bathroom that is just so, I love this, you know, the color of the curtain. And I put one of the planter boxes outside the bathroom. I may move that. I have not put batteries yet in the toilet, but I believe it's going to make a flushing sound. But it is a really nice toilet seat for the dolls. I have not tried anybody in there. Um, the sink is really cute. And look at behind the curtain here. There is um, shampoo and conditioner. I love the little nozzle for the shower head. 
and the handle's real pretty. And there's like these doors um, where you could go through an open space like a door. There's a towel rack with a towel. And I put this little thing down as a rug. I'm thinking of using it as a blanket. I think some people use it for the bed blanket, but I won't be doing that. The TV, I do not like at all the picture in there. Um, I love the wallpaper. More pink, tri you know, pink, and it's triangles. And the little stand is very flat to the ground. I think I'm going to put something else there instead. I will do another tour because I've already changed this up one time, but I wanted to show you what it looked like originally. And the flowers you're seeing there are flowers that I have on my coffee table outside the window. The chair I really do like. I think it's pretty. Um, it's a color I would use for my couch. Actually, it looks a lot like the same color. Wow, it's not a bad, you know, it's pretty close to the color of my own couch. That is pretty cool. So, let's see. Um, I didn't pay, I, I didn't pay any attention before I bought this that that is the only chair for watching TV. So I'm gonna to have to get a couch because I don't believe you should only be watching TV. You know, I, I wanna have a couch. So I will be getting a couch for that room. And I'm gonna show you soon, like another video, the changes I made or plan to make. So here is the table in chairs and I have an Our Generation doll in there. Oh my gosh, I'm at a loss for her name. I will put it on the screen. I can't remember her name. And the um, set did come with the table and chairs, that plastic bowl. I put a couple of mini pumpkins in there. I thought they were really cute. She did want to slide off the chair. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I do to help dolls not slide. Whoops. All her pumpkins are falling now. Um, I use, I cut up um, those things you find in the kitchen area, like a grip pad at the store. I cut one of those up, or it might be like, um, it might have been a liner. We have some extra that might have gone in drawers. But I cut that, and I put it on the seat, and that helps her not slide. I think it's a great option for dolls when you don't want them to slide on the plastic. And another walkway. There is the kitchen, and it really does fit up the entire wall of the kitchen. And I put little mini pumpkins on the top. I'm going to have to put more different things um, I, didn't, I wanted to show you things as it is, but I only added the pumpkins and the doll. And then it also came with the big bowl, these two little bowls, two uh, blue cups, kind of like a turquoise, two forks, two spoons, and two knives. Um, like I said, I plan to make a lot of changes, and I'm looking forward to decorating. I already had put a whole bunch of Christmas stuff inside, but I took it out. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit Thanksgiving, a little bit Christmas. Um, but I will make a new video soon to show you more of what I'm doing with this house. I want to thank you so much for watching and comment down below which room is your favorite. This is the bathroom, the bedroom, which room is your favorite. Thank you for watching and check out my Instagram, Sofa Dolls. Bye-bye.